All right, so we have Kate asking, uh, well, first off, st stating that uh, this was a little earlier in the discussion, but uh, she said that her dad drinks Bushmills Irish whiskey, hmm. and uh, um, but she'd love to find other whiskeys to try. For someone just starting out learning, what two or three would you suggest, suggest are the best or should you start off with? Ooh. Sure. Does she have any, but she has no experience at all? Um, other than Bushmills? Is she looking for whis and whiskey, Irish whiskey, or for, Scotch whiskey? She said yeah. whiskeys. She just said whiskey, other whiskeys, whiskeys. to okay. try. Oh, okay. it's a universe. Yeah. It's, it's a massive, massive it thing. Is. The, uh, my, the, the two, A, recognize that, first, recognize that your, your tastes will evolve over time. Um, and the more yeah. that you try, the, the more open you become to different things. Um, when I first started doing it, I was firmly in the Isla camp, the, the PD, the smoky, the heavy, you know, heavy flavor. Um, and then a customer got us a, uh, a, a whiskey called Shield Egg and S H I E L D A I G. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh, all right, we'll try it. This is actually how we started there, doing. I don't think it's back there okay. anymore. This is how we started testing whiskeys on the show was he, you know, th there was like one of the first whiskeys we got. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, should we? I don't want to review it on the show if we're not going to like it. You know, I don't know. We shouldn't do that. And then I tasted it. And I was like, oh, this is really good. We need to do this on the show. So the um, uh, Shield Egg is one of one of my go-tos. I think it's a space side. Um, it's, mm -hmm. it's really, really good. It's a great beginner's whiskey as well. Uh, another one that I would say is Glen Kinchy. Uh, is another one Highland that I've had. One, right? I, I forget. I'm not that good. Um, <laughs> I know we've 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 tried Uncle it before. Norky. No, yeah, yeah. You're. I always yeah. conflate them. You, uh, you're not thinking of Glen. You're thinking of uh, what's the one that's from the islands? The Highland Park from from Orkneys, Orkney Islands. Sure, that's Maybe. not what I was thinking. But okay. Okay, sorry. Okay. I'm not in your brain. Um, Glen Kinchy is another good one, and I would also say. If they've never had, if they if they like Irish but not Scottish, or if they like American bourbon but they're they're just trying to get into Scotch, um, one weird little tip: get a bar of chocolate, a good bar of chocolate, and it was supposed to be dark chocolate or milk dark. chocolate, dark chocolate. Dark. Yes, get a good dark chocolate, break a piece, and take a small piece of dark chocolate, put it in your mouth, chew it up a little bit. And let the la, and la, la, hold la. it in your mouth so that you have you know a chocolatey flavor, and then drink a little bit of whiskey with that or a little bit of scotch with that, and it it's a it's weirdly a different world. And people who don't really appreciate scotches can go like, oh, this makes sense now. It just it pairs really really well together. That's the first time we had mm -hmm. uh, Glen Kinchy when we were doing the tasting with Bill Reed. Mm -hmm. um, we did that, and I was just like, "Ooh, this is really neat." Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a weirdly different experience to have it at the same time. Yeah. What's your go-to for entry level? Uh, it depends. I mean, um, it, it really depends on how much money you got to spend. If you want, if you don't want to spend too much, uh, I was I was thinking in terms of like trying to be strategic. Like, if you don't know what you like, um, you might want to see if you can find a tasting party somewhere in your area. Um, a lot more people now are doing whiskey tasting parties, and that would be a nice way to get some exposure to different types and also get some leads from people who know what they're talking about, uh, unlike us. And then uh, <laughs> the, uh, for Irish, I would go with Redbreast. I'm, I'm a fan okay. of Redbreast. Okay. Um, if you are going with um, Scotch, then I would try to do one Isla and one Highland unless you're absolutely sure you like sweet or you really like peaty. You know what I mean? I, I, mean, I, I Isla like, is an acquired, so I'm, I know. I would be concerned. I, she, I wouldn't do that. I don't know. First, she might be yeah. adventurous. Maybe she likes stuff like that. Okay. But, but yeah, I think, I think I would go with some, try to go for something a little sweeter. I want to say Glenorchy. I mean, that's one I liked. I like the Dalmore a lot, but yeah. that's not necessarily yeah. cheap. Yeah. I, um, will, I will give a minor plug for this. Um, this is the scotch yeah, that fun. we're testing on the show today. Well, um, Journeyman whiskey. Distillery. Well, the, she said whiskey. Um, we were talking about scotches, but this one is from, you said Minnesota or Michigan? Michigan. Um, this is a organic. 
uh, Silver Cross whiskey. Um, this would be a pretty good first, you know, first drink whiskey. Like I think a lot of it's it's not a crazy p flavor profile, you know, one way or another. It's reasonably sweet, so I think this one would would do you well. Anything you see behind us that you can't live without there? Aaron? Not not Enigma. Not Enigma. Hated that. Since he's talking away from the microphone, I will say not Enigma. Not Enigma. Um, um, Dalmore's a really Dalmore's good up one. There? Yeah, Dalmore's hard to beat. It's not cheap though. Yeah. The ones that, like Shield Egg is like forty or fifty bucks. Glen Kinchy, again, that kind of range. Um, I'm trying to think of something that's not too crazy expensive. Um, not Smokehead. <laughs> not Smokehead. Yeah. Nothing with a really strong flavor profile. And I'll say, I'll say this. I mean, a a, a good liquor store attender employee <laughs> attendant i don't know um should be able to give you some advice also and a good rule of thumb is if the name sounds gimmicky it's probably not good okay yeah. you know if the name is something like you know fireheart you know or highland stag you know or you know, it's just like eh. or enigma or or enigma yeah yeah um that's that's basically it. But I think you can you should be able to find one or two that you like for under under a hundred bucks that would give you a nice cross section yeah. to try. But I would yeah. I'd probably start with a Highland. Um, you were talking about scotches yeah. or a space side. Yeah. Yeah. Space sides are very nice and light and smooth. Yeah. So yep, indeed. Yep. So what did we miss? What is your go-to when somebody says to you, hey, what whiskey should I try for my first one? Let us know in the comments. If you want to see other videos of us drinking different whiskeys and giving our personal opinions of them, check out our entire playlist.